welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Scout aggro. Scouts have been looking pretty good playing against Scouts. Uh, we just struggled against them with the Swiftfoot ramp tech that we just got done playing. But of course, that's that's maybe like the most favorable matchup for the Scout deck. Um, the Scout deck, as you know, is all about attacking. You got your Misfortune and your Quinn for your two champions, where both of them level up once you've attacked four times. And um, the one that's the really important one, of course, is the Misfortune, because how it has that ability. Um, it's a really strong ability. This is a very strong champion. It, it kind of makes the deck. But same with Grand Plaza. So Misfortune, Grand Plaza... These two cards are going to be our most important cards. Um, Grizzled Ranger and Island Navigator are both amazing with the Grand Plaza. So we're, we're going to be doubling up on those four drops. Since we're doubling up on the four drops and have a little bit of a higher curve here, we kind of uh, trim the top end a little bit. So we're only going one at Scythria instead of playing like seat, instead of playing like three Scythrias like you would normally see in a deck like this. Now what we're going to be doing here in this donation deck is also playing a couple of different cards that you don't normally see in the scout deck. We're going to be playing Fortune Croaker to be able to get some extra card draw so we can play a later game playing this instead of War Chefs or Hired Gun or other two drops you could normally see. And then instead of playing Fleet Feather Tracker, we got Pool Shark in here. Because you have the Grand Plaza and basically giving everything Challenger anyway, Fleet Feather Tracker isn't as valuable. Pool Shark is going to be another way for us to kind of dig and really look for Misfortune and Grand Plaza, the two cards that are going to be very, very important. Um, so basically, we don't want to play Pool Shark like on turn one, of course, because uh, we don't want to draw a fleeting card on turn two. But we could play it on turn two and draw the fleeting card on turn three because the fleeting card, if it's Misfortune or Grand Plaza, we'd be able to play on turn three or, of course, later on after that. Um, let's see, of course, then we have all of our Relentless Pursuits, so we can get to attack multiple times again, especially if we have Scouts in play, we could play this on our opponent's turn. Um, the Relentless Pursuit's definitely, again, good with Grand Plaza, because you can, if you have a Grand Plaza in play, you play, you don't really want to play units on your opponent's turn, because you get that plus one, plus one Challenger bonus that doesn't really help if you don't have the attack token, but that's where Relentless Pursuit comes in. So now you can play units on your opponent's turn, and then Relentless Pursuit, and you still get that bonus that matters with you having the attack token. So we'll go ahead and uh, try this out. Um, we'll play some Scout Aggro. Alright, here we are. We're playing against another Grand Plaza deck with Lucian Hecarim. Let's see. Misfortune? Check. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep these. Maybe I should be keeping Repost to help protect Misfortune. We don't do a whole lot on turn one or turn two with our current deck. Yeah, I, I love the, I love the play Misfortune on their attack turn, and then we get the attack token on on turn four, and then drop Island Navigator, and get the multiple attacks immediately. I love that. Chain Vest in here to protect Misfortune a little bit. The, the change to, to pack your bags to be five mana is something that I actually suggested a long time ago. Actually, that was like one of my very first suggestions for the card. Um, and so it's like they listened to my suggestion. That's exactly what I was saying that um, pack your bags could be. It could just be five mana. And um, that would make a lot of sense. One mana deal one and then five mana deal five. And now... You, Whenever you do have three Gohards played and they're turned into pack your bags, you don't get to then don't draw a Zap Spray Fin and um, tutor up uh, pack your bags with Zap Spray Fin now. So very ha very happy about that change. I think that's a good change. Because that effect, dealing five damage to the Nexus and all the units, is ridiculously powerful. Like, that deserves to be five mana, how powerful that is. And yeah, and it should should keep the card still still playable. Like that's he's that's still very very desirable to get that kind of effect. 
I could wait till like they attack first and then play this. I don't know. I'm a little worried. Again, I'm always just kind of worried my opponent's gonna pass, right? Like if if I if I click pass and then they click pass, I didn't want to see that. It does open up to like single combat, which I guess that's what they're trying. That's what they're discussing is probably single combat. But I do have the protection with the chain vest. Yeah, exactly. That's their their nerf. Yeah, I, I like how they they handle nerfs too. They try to. Whenever they nerf a card, they don't try to make the card unplayable. They try to hinder it, but not make it unplayable. Yeah, basically, shadow shadow assassin and. Open wide. Um. Shadow Assassin and Warchefs are like the two nerfs that really, really hurt the card's playability. All right, let's miss some Besides that, like even like Will of Ionia, Unyielding Spirit, like they don't see as much play, obviously, but they're still certainly playable. Rasa, I mean, yeah, Rasa, Rasa is certainly playable. Like since since the Rasa nerf, there's been a whole lot more cards printed. Um. Like, you know, like uh, Rasa and the uh, Riptide Rex, like, they're still definitely playable cards. They're, you know, they have been nerfed. They're not as good, but they're not killed. War Chefs was kind of killed. Boom Crew Rookie was kind of killed. One, one threes are kind of killed. <laughs> it's, it's hard to play one threes. Cool, Narwhal. Yeah, well, welcome to, to Runeterra. We'll be able to attack again immediately on our turn. Oh, we got the two attacks here with the Relentless Pursuit. It's really where Relentless Pursuit is the most powerful is using it on your opponent's turn with a scout in play where you get two additional attacks. You're not only getting the two attacks on your turn, but you're also getting two attacks on your opponent's turn. don't think I know I'm not doing the scout attack here but I don't think they have removal in a Lucian Hecarim deck I just don't think they have removal so I think this should just work Out, leveled up misfortune is good. Water. All right, and we got the scout's mirror. Looks like scout's pretty popular these days. Playing against it a bunch right now. Bunch. Um, do I keep chain vest in the scout mirror? I'm gonna mulligan the two four mana cards. I mean, I could mulligan the blinding assault also. Blinding assault's awesome. But it's not Plaza or Misfortune. Um, Kabo says with Mulligan, all of them look for Plaza and Misfortune. So we can do that. Those are replaceable cards. Speaking of, um, you know, Blinding Assault, it's, it's a replaceable card. Need 
War two and two two tough. The ocean charts our course. Three five and two three. So I could Relentless Pursuit here and attack twice. Alright, everybody says Rally. So I'll do it. now nothing gets between me and my mark we'll find our enemies wherever they are. I want to save the rallies for after Quinn you'll fight or you'll swim always forward scouting ahead Got them down to nine. I am. Ooh, I love that that chain vest draw. Show them what we're made of. I was gonna say I'm worried about Quinn surviving, and uh, for good reason. Looks like Quinn's not gonna survive. I don't want them to like you know like they challenge my Quinn, they relentless pursuit, they challenge and kill my Cythria, right? Like I don't want that to happen. Rage Yeti? I completely forgot about that. Stand for what's right. Completely forgot about that. So now I was, I was thinking I wanted Cythria this turn. Alright, maybe I don't need Cythria this turn. Maybe Rufus would have been better. We play in bilge rules, son. Sure. Shot. So I could go for the Rufus for lethal. I don't know if they'd have like a single combat to stop it. I can also just hold on to it. I'm going to be casting my own Relentless Pursuit this turn. Oh, what's that going to do? Hmm. Misfortune's messy. I mean, it's possible my opponent plays single combat. Never know. That's certainly a card you can play. It's a good card. Time for violence. Give us some room. Fall by my sword. Definitely should have used repost. Oh wow, I got lucky with that relentless pursuit draw. Because we're actually kind of looking like it like we're in trouble here if they play like you know, a card or two that, that gives them multiple bodies. Um, that repose was pretty lucky. Or like this, sorry, this Relentless Pursuit was pretty lucky.
Huh. I wonder why they conceded right there, because they weren't even dead. They could just, you know, like, if they let Relentless Pursuit resolve, they challenge something with their 7-7, seven, seven, and, like, they challenge one thing and block the other thing. They weren't even dead yet. Yeah, they... Yeah, exactly. Like, they weren't... From just what was on the board, they weren't dead whenever they conceded, but... Oh, well. So, obviously, I like Grand Plaza into Navigator, Quinn... Let's just send the pool shark back. I don't think I really need that. Okay, cool. I like the sharp sight. I'm glad no Teemo right away, right? Like, I was scared of a real aggressive start by them. This is working out so far. I'm scared of Aftershock, but, you know, that's hopefully no Aftershock. Boundary. And I'm next turn, you know, like, want to always play Relentless Pursuit on their attack token turn. So next turn I can play Quinn Pursuit. have, you know, another Mystic Shot. Kill the Navigator here. Yeah, this is fine. See, like, they spent a lot of cards to deal with that one Island Navigator. Took them three cards. And even if they do the kind of the same thing and kill my Quinn, I do have a bunch of Quins in hand. Are no easy have a mushroom. Have three. Second. Just like hunting for Second attack in. So I'm planning on this and I'll, I'll I'll use sharp sight to save this or I guess I could just play a new blinding assault also if they you know use removal here okay no removal so yeah let's let's just play another blinding assault Yeah, it doesn't matter either way, really. So, we'll just do this. We'll just get another Valor anyway, of course. Still heart, steady aim. Justice takes flight! Fly swiftly, kill swiftly. Alright, and they're down to six. Our best draw is Relentless Pursuit. Bull Shark and Fortune Croaker aren't bad. Only got one little puff cap left. Um, 
True Shot Barrage doing 3, 2, 1. This would have been a lot better time for, Ra for Rangers Resolve than Chain Vest, but um, that's okay. And <laughs> there's that one puff cap. We found it. Scouting ahead. Valor, Get him, Valor. I know I could use her post and save Valor, but don't have to. There we go, GG's. Three and O oh. can you know, can, can kind of keep that to save Quinn if needed. Okay. Twisted Fate Zoe. So we got misfortunes. Is there ever a time you don't keep every single misfortune? I like how the second misfortune could be make it rain to kill Zoe. I kind of like that. Maybe not. All right. Actually, that's not really that great. We'll just keep one. So I could play pool shark and then sharp sight block. Meh. But yeah, maybe I'm supposed to keep two misfortunes. That's kind of difficult, you know? Like, I, I don't know. Alright, so they could have, a you know, a few different Celestial cards that would really help them here. Like the Stun or, the, you know, Equinox. Either one of those would be pretty good for them. But I still got, like, the double sharp sights. Was that a parlay or something? Zoe's Sleepy Trouble Bubble. Okay. And no, I'm not going to attack in with Misfortune and, and let them go uh, Hail Cascade the Spacey Sketcher and trade. Not doing that at all. What am I doing this turn, though? Of course, I want to play Sharp Sight, which means I need three additional mana. <laughs> oh, pretty easy now. That was another Zoe. Yeah, another Zoe card. So they had all three Zoes in hand. Could play the Pool Shark. Let's keep the three spell mana for the Relentless Pursuit. Ooh. Okay. I gotta show you the sights of Bilgewater. The sights are fine. The smells, on the other hand. Relentless Pursuit on their turn. Honor, guide me. And they go Pill Cascade here now. Now I'll use Sharp Sight. Hold still. Uh, I think 
all this attacking is important. Love ya. <clears throat> Looks like we played around that pill cascade pretty good. Maybe I should put that on a scout. I don't know. I put it on like my worst thing. But you know, like it. I guess I could have put it on Quinn, I suppose, also. Like I, I want to make sure, like, you know, like they don't don't just use like a pill cascade and save it. Or even a hush. <laughs> Neither of those save it. So they go grab my sharp sight. Sharp sight doesn't save it either. Oh, I, I guess I've had I've had they could take blinding assault also. So blinding assault or sharp sight. So I've had two spells they could, they could take. They could thieve away with their thievery. That should be game. And there it is. 4 0. So it looks like another Grand Plaza deck. Grand Plaza with Lucian Zed Garen. All powerful cards. So n none of these are Misfortune or Grand Plaza. I I'm going to keep the Sharp Sight though, because I think that Sharp Sight could be really important for combat. And there we go. Battlesmith. You won't want it. Battlesmith. One way to test them out. One way or another to test them out. Do, 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 do. Fortune favors the bold. The finest Demosian steel. Another Battlesmith. Set sail. Love ya. It's a good draw. One banner, one destiny. In the name of our land. Let's be a close game. I ought to show you the sights of Bilgewater. The sights are fine. The smell is unreal. I'm nervous about... Soldiers, to me! Well, that's not great. So I was nervous about like the the one spell. Let's see. Still heart, steady aim. Just like hunting thresholds. So I know I could use like sharp sight take down like the six six. It's not like a huge difference between that five and the six. Um, maybe I should be attacking with the Misfortune also and try to use, like, you know, like, they block with the 6-6 six, six there, I, I Sharp Sight, but of course a leveled up Misfortune is just simply too, it's just so valuable. Soldier, to me. All right, let's miss mm. some folks up. Guess I should have. Show them our metal. How you doing? So let's see, next turn we're gonna have seven mana. So enough for Scythria and Fool Shark. Hmm. And 
Not a scout, though. A long path to get New recruit reporting in. A game. Go on then. Don't get in my way. Back. Wait, but then they didn't block? They just did that didn't block so I could just sharp sight? Yeah, they just didn't block. Wow, what a what a game. Super close. But they didn't block, that will be the 5-0. One is not zero. We got went down to one. Yeah, Lucian could have blocked. The 2-2 the two -two couldn't block because, yeah, because my things had fearsome, so the 2-2 two -two couldn't block, but Lucian could have, but they didn't want their Lucian to die, I suppose. Um, but yeah, Scouts is awesome. <laughs> you know, Scouts is awesome. Fjordshan's awesome. This is this is really good. I think that, like, the, the Fortune Croaker, Pool Shark, like, that kind of stuff was, was pretty good, but honestly, it's just, I did a really good job of drawing the Grand Plaza and Misfortune, right? Like, we had those two cards all of the time, and just sitting back and not doing anything on turn one, not doing anything on turn two. Before for, for scouts, you, would, you wouldn't you would be able to, you'd kind of get a little bit too far behind. But now with the Grand Plaza, with having that with Island Navigator and Grizzled Ranger, you get to catch up. And then you get to, since you didn't do anything on turn one or turn two, then you have your Relentless Pursuit afterwards. And Relentless Pursuit, honestly, for this deck was amazing. Uh, this, this card was frequently... Um, as you know, it's not a card that I love that much, but I think it works perfectly here for Grand Plaza and for scout units and for, you know, using this on your opponent's turn to get two attacks, you know, have those attacks be like, you know, scout challengers and everything. It was perfect. Um, a lot of times we would go like nothing on one, nothing on two, and then either Misfortune or Plaza on three, and then, you know, like Island Navigator double attack on four, and then Quinn on five plus Relentless Pursuit double attack again. And at that point, you know, like it was, you know, that was really rough for my opponent. And then I could even like untap double attack again. Like, you know, it's just, it's too much for them having the double attack with multiple bodies on those turn four, the turn five, the turn six after like our misfortune grand plaza. All right. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button, leave those comments. How have you been playing? Like how has scout aggro been working out for you? If you've been playing some scouts, um, or if you've been playing anything else with the Grand Plaza or other Misfortune decks. or Y'all know that I love seeing the comments on YouTube. So just uh, leave those. Let me know how decks are going for you. Give me that feedback. What do you want to see on stream? You know, all that kind of stuff. I um, love hearing that feedback. All right, but that's it here for the Scouts. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.